Hi. <laughs> it's uh it's grandma here. Grandma Shingus. Um I wanted to um provide a response to um I guess like we heard today that uh Senator Biak was um removed from the Senate. So I um there's a lot of responses on on uh, social media. So I wanted to um I guess say my goodbye to her and um uh, but before I what I was going to say goodbye to her is um I wanted to um just to let her give my perspective, I guess. And my perspective is um, like, you know, she was, um, she made statements that were very harmful, very hurtful uh, to us survivors. And it was, um, so that's why I made that video. So that video that I put out has uh, 5,670 views. 5,670 views. I wanted to know, um, was she one of the people that viewed it? Uh, she didn't get my letter. Um, so, and in all of that, like, I know she's gone, she's let go, but in all of that, like, you know, she never really got to hear from us survivors. I think if she was given the opportunity, she was given the opportunity to listen to the survivors, and she refused that. But is she totally off Senate? Like, is she still a senator? Like, you know, that's uh, one of the questions I have. And I think that um, if she was able to sit down in a room with survivors and to hear each one of our, um, our stories, I think we wouldn't would have uh, definitely um, heard uh, heard something or maybe we would have made an impact on her and the reason why I'm saying this is because um, I'm finding that uh, beyond the border of Manitoba going out east in Canada there isn't too much uh, education on um, on the history of our indigenous people and our history of residential school. There's uh, so much more Canada needs to know. And I can definitely um, say, like, you know, in all of this, like she brought out that issue without her knowing, like she probably doesn't even get it, you know. But in 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 essence, like Canada heard all the responses from leaders, from uh from survivors and people heard. But she didn't hear. That's you know, that's I wish she was able to hear, and that was my intent, was for her to hear. My intent was for her to, to hear, uh, or even like you know, to see my uh, my video. Let me show you it here.
Mm -hmm. I wanted her to see this. And I don't think she'll ever get the opportunity to see it. Uh, and it just saddens me. But I, I guess um, what I would like to see out of all of this is for uh, anybody that's running for any kind of leadership in any kind of government with the PC government, with the NDP, with the liberals, even becoming police officers, doctors, lawyers, judges. I think that um, each one of them should be educated. They should be given those uh, books that the TRC, the findings of the TRC, the survivor's stories, all those volumes should be taught to them. And because then you, you wouldn't have a senator who's appointed and refusing to hear about what happened in residential school. A lot of people are happy, like, you know, saying good riddance, like it's about time. Like, you know, even me, like I was a Yahoo, good news. <laughs> like, you know, happy she's gone. But it doesn't get rid of the fact like, so you have this person leaving Senate, somebody that was at top office, still carrying that same attitude that, uh, what, that, like, the good, the good intention, there was good stuff that happened in residential school. She totally denied the wrongs. Like, you know, she totally denied it. She's given lots of opportunity. So, uh, tonight it doesn't sit well with me, so I know I just wanted to share that and get it out there, but I wrote something So it says, my goodbye to Senator Bayak. So it almost sounds like Bayak. And Bayak you know, means, it, in Cree it means one. So Bayak means, Bayak means one, only one of you now. You denied your truth. You denied our truth. You believed your lies. Payak means one, only one of you now. You said good intentions to justify all the wrongs in residential school. Payak means one, only one of you now. Your refusal to apologize only hurt you in the end. Piak means one, only one of you now. You who blamed us for our abuses by saying we were they were good intentions. Piak means one, only one of you now. The good image you presented of residential school is a false front for the genocide and damage done to us survivors. So that's that's my poem I wrote to her, and um, I still invite you. To